All right, we'll it. call the meeting to order. Look at that. Yeah, apple time. <laughs> yeah, the original apple time. Yeah, that's right. All right, first on the agenda is to approve the agenda. Is there anything that needs to be amended or are we good to approve as written? We're good as far as I know. Move to approve as written. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, we do not have any appointments this evening. So I'll just open it right up to public comment. Looks like Ellie, you're the only person. <laughs> no comment. I'm just here because you need somebody to be here. Oh, oh what a good person. <laughs> Yeah, moral, moral support. support. I'm just here for moral support. All right. No well, being that we are a little quick on the public comment, if somebody jumps on, we'll give them the opportunity yeah. to, sure. to say something. But All right. Uh, head on the agenda, we have two individuals to appoint uh, to the Human Services Advisory Board. So both their letters were in there, Susan and then Bennett. Um, you want to do one at a time, so Susan first, her letter's in there. Has she reached out to you, Paul? Yeah, she, she approached me at town meeting. Um, after I mentioned that we were going to try to expand and, and look at the whole process and see, you know, that we're hitting the right targets or, or not and, and, and the procedures that we go through. So she approached me at town meeting and then uh, followed up with me uh, a month or so ago. And um, she has been on the, the uh, Human Services Board before, in the past. Oh, so nice. she's familiar with the process. Um, so I, ch I chatted with her a little bit at town meeting. Um, I know her husband, Tom, is our representative on the um, Tri-Valley. Yeah. Tri-Valley He's a nice guy. I just nice guy. I golf with him in the golf, men's golf league. Very nice, nice people. We did have one resignation, just an FYI. Um, Sandy Farrell uh, decided to pass on the, the advisory board. Did she send you an email? She did not. She just dropped out of the group that I had created. Okay. And when I sent, I sent her a text following up on that. Does, that, does this mean that you? not on the board anymore and she has not responded okay. so i'm assuming that she's all right perfect well, there you go so that's her resolution okay all right so we just need a motion so moved second okay all in favor Aye. Aye. all right and then bennett so bennett you know and he is a library trustee i believe and um he also does something, right, with the Playhouse Theater. He's the one who always passes their petition. I'm not sure if he's on their board or not. Do you know, Ellie? If Bennett's, is Bennett Law on the board of the Playhouse Theater? Do you know? Um, I, I, know I don't know if it's the board, but he's, um, he and his partner run the Playhouse. Nice. Yeah, they run it. Yeah. 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 So I guess that if he was appointed to that board, he would have to recuse himself for the discussion, any discussion for the Playhouse and any discussion for the library. Just like, you know, you guys would for whatever reason. I haven't chatted. <clears throat> he wants to, he was talking about revamping the whole thing instead of 5,000 here and 400 there and 700 here. 250,000 human uh, this community, uh, this committee should have two hundred fifty thousand dollars to divvy up. How are they, please? <laughs> Does he know how big of a? That's like several of our budgets together, yeah. like departments. Oh, I, I didn't. Move yeah, Bennett. Bennett. Yeah. 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 Well, no, we can give you the two five. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite yeah. those zeros. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm concerned about. Is that uh, trying to avoid the situation where he, he's there for the playhouse? So. Yeah. As an advocate for the Playhouse. So. Yeah. And the library. Yeah, he'd have to... And the, well, in the library, too. And, yeah. And, uh, he'd have yeah. to recuse himself from discussion and votes about them. And, you know, and I haven't shadowed with him yet, so I need to make that clear, very clear to him. Yeah. That that would have to be the case. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm still a little offset about the situation at town meeting last year with the, with the Playhouse and how that all came about. Yeah. 
Um, so I think it might be better if I chat with him first before we appoint him. Appoint okay. Him. So put it on hold. Put it on hold. Let yeah. me have a chat with him and then Sounds make sure clear. that we're all on the same page. Yeah. Sure. I think that's a good idea. Yep. Sounds good. You need a motion for that? To table it. To be, yeah. Yeah. Sam. Yep. We have a motion to table uh, the appointment of Bennett Law until Paul Valley has a chance to go over some thoughts with him. Second. Yeah, we'll have it, I'll have it wrapped up before the next, by the next meeting. Yep. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> all right, notice of sale of municipal real estate, Fairview <clears throat> Street. So a motion to authorize the town manager to sign yep. the quick claim deed. So it'll take, uh, Dave was on vacation, Rue, so he said he'd, we sent him what he, some of the stuff he needed help to come down, probably do a deeper title search, but he, um, it probably should be hopefully within the next 30 days. And so it'll just be the property will be divided up between the two abutters, <clears throat> which are Mrs. Which are Brenda Badger and her name now. Lewis? Yes, thank you. Yeah, Cheryl Lewis. Okay. So that's it. <clears throat> All right, just need a motion to authorize the town manager to sign the quick claim deeds. So moved. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, fire department bids for a replacement fire truck. So that's where, um, so Gary Kugler, interim chief, and I were there tonight. We had a bid opening at five at the town office. So we expected two bids and we received three. So the bidders, bids we received were from Dingy, um, New England Fire Equipment and Apparatus Corporation, and Specialty Vehicles. So it's gonna take Gary a week to go through them all and um, you know compare apples to apples. Obviously he put out the specs. One of the companies never contacted him. So that'll be a trick because um, he didn't even know they were bidding so there was a couple things he you know would have talked to them about. But so two of them um, obviously specialty vehicles and dingy he had been in contact with. So but it said clearly in the bid to reach out to Gary so they did not. And um, but we'll see, obviously the bids are, you know, a bit more than we anticipated, but since the state said they'd make us whole, we'll be testing that theory, so. So that's it, so once Gary gets a chance to go through them, we wanna move on them. Um, one of the, the ones that were, there was one company there tonight, uh, Specialty Vehicles, and they said start to finish 18 to 20 months, which is better than what we, you know, we originally were three years. And he said it would have depended on the chassis um, that Gary had bid, whether or not that would, um, what would happen there. So, so we were happy that at least we got, you know, a couple of bidders and we ended up three. So it was exciting. <laughs> so yeah, so I just want a motion for Gary and I to start the process. Once he goes through them, obviously low bidder does not play any part in this, it's who comes closest to the specs, who we think can deal with, who can deliver the product on time, that sort of thing, so. I would say that this, this vehicle mm -hmm. has nothing, well, not nothing, but very little to do with money. It has to do with, is it what we need? Exactly, exactly, yep, that's the case here, so. When you get up into that kind of dollars, you know, five, yeah, when five or ten thousand yeah. dollars doesn't mean much. No, no, when you're talking over a half mil, yeah, it's, that's, you know, and it's, there's so many parts to it too. So, um, and Gary had written all the bid specs and very detailed. And so, just to go through, there was also a couple options that Gary had wanted us to see what you know. And um, he cut a couple things out, but one of the companies did give him a bid tab that was just how much these things would cost if you needed them, or if this, if the fire department was going to use some of their money to um, that they fundraised to to buy something that could happen too. So. So that's it. So being that, I don't know, I'm just, being the dollar figure of what we're buying mm -hmm. and we haven't seen anything, yeah. I mean, would it be wiser? I mean, I know for the most part that almost no matter what it is, we're gonna have to move forward, but right. at least as a board member, I'd feel better making a motion, at least seeing something. Like, okay. I mean, if it was, 
you know, a five thousand dollar lawnmower. I mean, it's a little different right. than a half a million dollar fire truck. Yeah, I mean, the, um, the I mean, I know is, we're in the position where we're likely going to have to award it if it's five or six hundred thousand or whatever. You know, like, yeah, right. They're all. But at least we most likely feel better about seeing the number, and then all of a sudden. I mean, I know not like what the, 18 months later being like, oh my God, we spent a million dollars on fire. No, no. You know, like, I know what know? the preliminary bid numbers are. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can tell you what they are. I took a picture of them. So, um, I mean, I, that's just my thoughts on it. Like, but as far as the bid itself is, I mean, I guess what we could do is if is we could come to you with a recommendation. I don't think we need to bring all three to you because he's the one doing all the work. Right. And, um, you know, I mean, I have a feeling how it'll turn out, but, um, I mean, is it a, I mean, I can see if it's maybe a timing thing where you don't have until the next board well, meeting no, to, I know. We were just to get the to approval forward. But if, if we um, do have the option, it, I think right. at least I would feel better hearing what it is that we're going to get and what that price is. Right. And, and then yeah. maybe, you know, we don't really necessarily need to know why you chose them, but at least we yeah. kind of know. Here's what we're looking well, at getting. Because like get some funding information, you know, get, get all this out to the public. Well, we don't need to do that. Yeah. We don't need to do that. No. The, the state's, state's paying. Yeah, the difference. Well, if we just make that statement that everybody yeah. in town yeah. can say, where are we coming up with a half a million bucks while the state's taking yeah. care of it? Yeah, so the, the bids no. ranged from basically 500000 to 617000 and change. Mm -hmm. So, which we knew. I mean, mm -hmm. we knew it was going to be more than we had. We obviously have 250000 from the sale of, from the sale from the insurance company for totaling the fire truck. The state said they'd make us whole. I, um, we're waiting, we purchased with that money, the fire truck from Norwich, mm -hmm. and we are going to, <clears throat> I'm gonna be submitting, Gary was getting <clears throat> some lettering done. Once that's done, I'm gonna send that invoice to the state. And I do wanna send, I am gonna send the gentleman an email and say, hey, look, these are the prices, just so you know, we're, you know, what we had originally hoped at 500 is looking more like it's gonna be, you know, 600, 650, something like that. But the statement was they would make us whole. So that's what we're anticipating and yeah. anticipating. How do you feel about a nitpicking like, well, you didn't have this on that truck, so that's $10,000 we're not gonna pay for. It. You didn't have that on. I don't, I never got that impression. They okay. were very, <clears throat> that didn't seem to appear to be an issue with them. That was never, part of the, the blanket statement was, we will make you whole out of our state liability claim fund. Okay. So she didn't, there You've was- seen no, that done. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. And that's why one, now that we have the bids, I'm gonna reach out to the gentleman that we're dealing with um, and let him know that uh, this is where we're at with the used fire truck, get that money coming, and then let him know what we're dealing with for what we're looking at for numbers, so. But yeah, we can wait. Um, Till the next meeting. Yeah, I mean, it's going to take Gary a week to get through these bids, is what he thought. And then, I mean, we certainly can contact the person and tell them that we, this is the bid we're leaning towards, this is, or this is the bid we want, this is what we're going to take to the, to the select board, because he needs to, um, you know, he'll want to talk to the members of the department, that sort of thing. So, um, you know, and, and the thing is, too, as he said, you can't, they can't get everything they wanted, you know, just because it's, this is the issue, it's not carte blanche, you know, you, you have to stay within. Mm -hmm. So, okay. <clears throat> so we can do that at the next meeting. So just a motion to table yep. the discussion um, or the award on the replacement fire truck until the next meeting? Yep. Okay. So moved. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 That, that takes the possibility that we, we would actually award that bid as a group rather than authorizing you guys if mm, you had yeah. it all cleared up. That's just fine, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> well, that gives Gary some time to go through them because they're in binders like this. I mean, these are not like two page, you know, bids. These things are in binders with multiple tabs. Get a look for like, the gotcha clauses. Yeah, he's got to <laughs> go through all that. And we were talking about warranties and things like yeah, that. Doesn't so include this, doesn't include that. Exactly. Has he looked at it enough to know that the, the pumps are all the same and oh, the valves yeah, are he, all the same? He wrote all the specs. Okay. So they had to adhere to the basic specs. So he, and his, I say basic, his specs were detailed and they were pages long. So he knows 
um, that they've adhered to that. And he has already had conversations with two of these back and forth with two of these companies. So, um, which is good. You know, as they, okay. maybe something's available that he didn't know or whatever. I just get nervous when you get that many zeros onto something. Oh yeah, no doubt. Okay. And town manager report. So we had a surprise VOSHA inspection on Thursday, and um, he was a great guy. He's coming back um, this week, I think maybe Wednesday, to inspect the fire department, and then he is going to go over his final report with me. And I, we thought he was really helpful. I mean, he came to the town office, and then I took him to you know went town hall, sewer department, and all that, and. He was very helpful because some of the stuff we just, you know, you don't know what you don't know. And I felt that he wasn't really out to get us. And like he said, he doesn't assign the fines that would come from somebody above him. And um, he was, you know, I was certainly under the impression that it was more like just they're here. You know, they need to do more inspections and kind of we're here, we'll come back. But he was very helpful and also mentioned a project work safe, which will come and do inspections and training. So if we need I know that some of the policies were lacking because their headers are funny. It's like health and wellness. Well, what goes under that? You know, like what policies do we have that would be included? So I think he's, he's going to give me more information on that and we could <clears throat> reach out to Project WorkSafe. So I will say that I told all the departments not to worry about it, that if, um, if there were fines or whatever, you know what, we have an undesignated fund balance. It's not going to, I'm not going to tank somebody's budget this year for it. It's just, we just, you know. We didn't know. We didn't know. So did they did they say why they chose us? Like, no. I mean, I've been in construction for 20 years, and VOSHA doesn't show up. Like, I've never had a VOSHA they, inspection in 20 unless years. Unless you happen to have that individual, like we had one project one year with the guy on his way to Montpelier had to travel through our, you know, and then if yeah, you know, if there was an open trench, he had mm -hmm. to stop by law. You know. Yeah. Well, Other than that. Rumor they never has it. stop. They never come through. They yeah, just sit in Montpelier. So I was just a little worried. You know, yeah. why do they? Well, they don't usually just show up. Well, like they, rumor has it that OSHA did the same thing to VOSHA that the EPA did to Vermont Air. Was you have not enforced our rules or change rules or done enough inspections. So if you don't get hmm. it together, we're coming and we're going to take it over. So that's what I'd heard. But um, I don't know. I honestly, it could be because I've been pub been out there fighting the OSHA regs for the fire department. Could have been well, no, I mean, I'm just, you know, curious because so, it's, but he, they're, they're not usually no. an identity that just shows up. Like, yeah, but apparently that's they're what the they're the identity saying. that you call for yeah. a complaint and they say, we're just so busy. We just, yeah, we can't well, apparently, you know, like, I think that's what got them in so. trouble with, the, with OSHA nationwide was because <laughs> there was a rumor that they'd only done a very few inspections in the last three years. So hmm. I don't know. I didn't ask. I was, I, you know what I said? I said, I'm so glad you're here because it was very helpful and got a lot Did of information. Did you point him to the, the other towns and where they're located? No, no. no. He, he, I think he knew We have that. a neighbor to the north and one yeah. to the south. There's one I over in the west. I think he knew that. But he was very helpful because... Let me give you the numbers. Are there? Yeah, at the sewer department, for example, because I'm not sure if you've all have seen it, but... Um, there is some, there's guardrails around it, but some open, and he said to me something about a boat and a, and a life oh preserver, boy. and I thought he was kidding, and I, oh I laughed, no. he goes, no, no, I'm serious, well, but what was really interesting it is was, knee deep, so I mean, he explained it to Richard and I, and then one of the things that he said was, Richard said, I work alone, Clayton Whitmarsh works alone, so who's inflating my boat? And throwing me the, and the guy was like, you know what? These are some really good points. He said, I'm going to talk to my boss about this because there was a couple things, and but um, you know, so it was, you know, it was in for, and, and Richard hmm. took care of some things right away and asked him. He said, would you like me to email you pictures of this? And he's like, no, we'll, you know, someone will be back around. So yeah, I have a. Have you have confined space have policies though, right? We did. We had Tim had written a confined space policy, which we don't. We have it, but we hire that out because we're not trained. We also, he had done a lockout tag out policy. Um, so some of the stuff uh, Tim had written, uh, Deidre had done all of our SDS binders. Um, we, she'd also written the bloodborne pathogen policy. Um, so there, you know, it was interesting. And so I took him to the pool 
um, town garage. So we visited all the town buildings. Did he give you any citations? No, he can't. He said huh. that that's not him. He said he they can't do that. He Just writes his pictures. report and then hmm. he writes a report and then someone up above him. But he's coming back to do the fire department, hopefully Wednesday. And um, he is then going to meet with me and tell me his final report. But he said, I don't won't know anything about violations that comes from someone above him. But, hmm. but I thought the information he provided was very helpful. So did AJ. So did um, Richard. You know, the whole thing is we just want to keep our employees safe, you know. So I thought it was helpful. And he was actually a really pleasant gentleman. Um, so I'm still working on the audit. Um, they'll be here in October. Um, we had a bid out for the installation of arch pipe on Deering. That was already awarded, and the culverts replacement on Camp Brook is due tomorrow. So the Deering was with grant money. The Camp Brook ones are on us, two small ones. Um, AJ and the crew have been out grading, and, and the material store at the fire station is now gone. Um, AJ, Chris, and I started working on the gravel road inventory. So that's a good thing. Um, get done. Someone was talking about that today. Thursday and Friday, I'm out using some vacation time. Hey, did you guys talk about Christian Hill? There's a piece of ledge coming through the road. One? <laughs> well, I just thought. But where? Uh, right Not on the, the paved section. <clears throat> no, no. I was going to say, wait. I, I drew the short straw, so I'll be going up yeah, and looking Chris at is, Chris is doing the camp. Uh, Christian Hill. The Christian Hill section here and over yeah. the next couple weeks. So. AJ got quite a rock. <clears throat> Careful. When he hit that rock, because it, it picked the grader up. Yeah. yeah. So, well, yeah. then he's aware of it, so he'll. Yeah. But yeah, so we did, we did the, I don't remember what quadrant we did first. Uh, we did. West. We did like the Lilliesville yeah, so or section. Or if we just take the excavator and just reveal it a little more, I'd be willing to do that too. Yeah. No. Probably the only thing holding that hill together. Yeah, I was going to say, don't be get messing with it. No, 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 don't pull it out. Just yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Reveal I don't. It. Well, if you saw it, then, then you. you're not going to pull that out. That's not a rock. So there's that, ledge. That's hitched way down. Yeah. Ledge on Christian Hill. Well, so then I'm sure if he was in the greater. There's greater granite <clears throat> showing in at least another <clears throat> 10 places. Well, that's good, because like Chris just said, he's <clears throat> weird. we divvied that section up, and he got Christian Hill. So what we're doing is we're looking at the road. We're looking right. at the... Everybody was like, I'm not going up there. <laughs> we're looking I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> we're looking at the culverts, um, anything that needs to be you know, cleared, repaired, the, the length, depth, how much gravel you think needs to go on it. That way we can mm. do a plan. We also had I can Kelly. Tell you that number easy. Well, Kelly came up with. Um, she's letting us know how many people, full time or seasonal rent to residents, live on each road, and then we can kind of put all this data together. So we have one document that AJ started that I added to that Chris added his roads to, and so we're. Yeah, let me know when you're coming up. <laughs> uh, when are we meeting next? I don't know. I don't know probably September. A couple of days before then. Yeah. <laughs> so. Or the He'll week let after you and Labor Dave Day. Know. That's right. Yeah. So, um, but Most yeah. Those hay fields, when I was farming, you could drive into. Sure. But now you cannot. Right. Because they're below the entrance. Right. Yeah. And we also have trenches on both sides. But. Hmm. Yep. No, our, our, our goal with the gravel roads is to actually take physical inventory. We divide it to four. Mm -hmm. We're on quadrant number two. And we hope to have the other two quadrants all done before snow flies so that then yeah. we can sit down and yeah. start to look at the, the needs base of the road versus how many people live on the road or, you know. How heavily traveled heavily, it is. Yeah, and of. try to figure out a priority for some of these. Because you may have some roads that are very heavily traveled that need it more often. You might have some roads that you could hit it once and not have to come back for 20 years because there's only one house on it, you know. Yeah, so there's... It's also so going to be we'll have to really We haven't really figured that out of how we're going to prioritize Some are yet, more but. heavily traveled than they should be. That's true. That's <laughs> true. At high rates of speed. Yeah. That's right. So we're also going to, um, so that'll help, you know, putting the budget together and as well as also when uh, coming yeah. out of the gate in the spring, you guys will know, you know, where they're headed. Yeah. So. Especially with Fox and Bridge um, closed. Yes. Uh, Royalton Hill gets a lot of traffic. Yep. Work. Yeah. Oh, which reminds me, I'm glad you said Royal Temple. That, um, I think it's this week, Richard said that, or Richard AJ told me that they're coming to pump that out. 
and they're not going to excavate it out this week, but you know they have to re-cement right there where it created that big hump on North Road, not Royal Town, but on North Road. Mm -hmm. um, so they're coming in to vector out all the materials down there, and, and then AJ and those guys are going to re-cement like he talked to you about repairing that, and then we're going to have to have it repaved in a section there. But. Now, Royalton Hill Road, this road goes to Royalton, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes from North Road North over here. North Road, Royalton right. Hill, we have and no then gravel, Gilman. We have no gravel road on that road. No, this is pavement. No, it's she was just pavement. saying it's being it's heavily paved. traveled. And then, and then it all of a sudden, it's Gilman Road, and that's, yeah. that's dirt. And then it turns to dirt. And Did, do you know if Caleb got, he got Hebert's contact information? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just I don't know. There's... Some board member lives on that one, so we weren't going to touch it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to fix that. But, um, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I was just curious if Caleb <clears throat> yeah, no, got his I, contact I, I, information. Yeah, no. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and oh, no, good news is we're, I'm done with all of FEMA for July. It's been obligated, so we will get our money, Bummer. despite what the state or the, you know, the feds haven't coughed up so which means once we get our last payment from FEMA then the state will pony up their 12 and half percent so all of our July stuff will be closed none of our December stuff is currently obligated so that money is going to take a little time till the feds what did we replenish. have <clears throat> for the December numbers the biggest one is is uh, going to be probably close to a I would say close to a million is Sugar Hill but we've got the engineer oh, the for 40,000. For like 43,000 is the engineer, so he's, he's working on that. And then um, that'll be the biggest one. Findlay is out, I know what that one is, a couple hundred thousand. Um, Bethel Mills Pump Station, Richard just got a quote finally, or got a visit from Dimmix, and they're supposed to give him a quote so we can <clears throat> get that. Um, I need to write up our own. S O W for whatever and for FEMA and um, so I think that's it because one and one December job is done. So. What are they doing at that pump station? Um, Redid that thing completely after I. Read. I know and um, but it's gone underwater twice. So we asked for mitigation money. So what we're going to do is there's a piece of pipe that's broken between the right up to the tank. That's going to get fixed. We're also going to try to extend the cover. Even higher? Yes, because it's been underwater twice. Wow. And then um, also we're going to put a, basically a backflow preventer in there. We're going to plug it um, because that's one of the, you know, we've spent like 20 grand just having that one in the St. Hyacinth one pumped out because once it goes underwater, we can't have it discharging anything into the, to the river. So luckily our insurance company has paid for that. But uh, so those were the preventative measures that we talked to the engineer about putting in place. But yeah, it's been under but it, both. But December. if that, that, that tank at Tyson Street is small, but the one down here is pretty big, but mm -hmm. three days underwater and that tank, <clears throat> you're not going to be able to pump it out. I know, exactly. That's why we want the, to make those. We also want to put some riprap in there. So I believe I've got my permit from Jaron Borg if not, I'll get it from him to do a little bit of work there. To, but it's, you know, it's the nature of the beast. It is right where it is for a reason. And, um, but yeah, so I know they did that all after Irene, but we're gonna, but the good thing about mitigation is whatever you get for your PA money, which is your base money, you can double that going into mitigation. So, so that's what we're doing to the Bethlehem. All the electronics and everything is up out of the hole now, right? Yep, yep, but it's still, um, you know, still goes under. The generator's so. been replaced. Yes, sir. But um, so that's what we're doing there, anyways, to fix a couple things and try to, because the currently the top that's that's on it now is like the it's all one piece. We were hoping we could salvage that, and but it looks like we'll have to order a new one there. But so we're just trying to make do a couple mod minor modifications to it, and FEMA will pay for it um, up to the amount of our original PA. So so that's all we're doing there. Yeah, you don't have any claustrophobia. No, I, I've been down those holes. And it... No, thanks. Nope. Thanks, but no thanks. Just don't let the you Bosha guy know which more. day you're doing it. Yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't go down there. We, that's why we don't do it. We have someone else who's confined uh, entry. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, we don't do that sort of meeting. So that's it. Um, the finances are in the back, so if you have Wednesday questions about that, of course. All right.
Okay. When we had the uh, select board meeting minutes, we um, from the 22nd of July, because that wasn't in the last one, right. and the 12th. So, unless anybody saw anything on those, just need a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 One thing I was just thinking of was wasn't the um, wasn't the ATV club supposed to come? I talked today? to Rich. No, I talked or to Richard. He's coming the next meeting okay. because he needed to. Um, he was talking to Cecil and he was putting his map together and then he was going to go out and measure it and that sort of. So I did ask him if he wanted to come tonight. He said, no, I'll okay. wait till the next one. And the next one, we're also going to have a presentation from Two Rivers because remember when we had the meeting at the town office and, um, I, and it was Kevin Geiger came and talked to us about that grant and that it would give us assistance um, for different projects. Well, they got it. So now he's coming to do a, not him, but the gentleman that took over, his name escapes me. He's coming to do a presentation next Monday mm -hmm. night um, on that. So he just sent me the slide deck today so I can include it in your next packet. All right. Um, let's see, we had conservation commission meeting minutes that were in there. There was information in regards to the Sand Hill roadway and stormwater improvement. Yeah, so that's actually <clears throat> better than we thought, which how often do so we hear that? The, the far right-hand column, estimated cost bid alternate. What is that? So what the bid include? the bid alternate for Sand Hill paving for contract number two was going from Bicentennial to the town garage. Um, the construction contingency is just that. And we won't need the short-term interest, so. So well, what does that 159.505 represent? That's the cost of how much it would, their estimate for us to go from, to pave from Bicentennial to the town garage. Mm -hmm. That 159, that's the whole bid for all of Sand Hill. Was it? Yep. <clears throat> Then why does he have it listed as a bit alternate? And then the alternate was like what sixty? Yeah, it wasn't much. Sixty-one thousand. If we were gonna <clears throat> go up to the town. Well, I see on the bottom he added both bids together: the total project cost plus the one seventy-three to get us to the eight hundred five. I know he was playing around with some was gonna come out of one. Yeah, which is down below. One which is source and our local something. match, uh, the DWSR carryover was fifty thousand. So. Um, so what I can tell you anyways about the bid alternate and the base project, adding them all together, is that the project, the money that we originally got was going to get everything done to Bicentennial. Mm -hmm. When Tim was alive and we did this, we were hoping to get to the town garage, but mm -hmm. things changed. So now what our plan is, is the other thing too is we did not have to replace the water line from Bicentennial to the town garage. So what the plan is now is that AJ will do the berm removal on the side, on the left-hand side going up to the town garage. He's going to do all the build berm removal and ditch so that the water can come off the road. Um, Hebert, there's one culvert replaced by, that needs to be replaced by Mike Davis's. And then it looks like what we're going to do is just, is do shim and uh, wearing course from Bicentennial um, to Woodland. Or if we're going all the way to Woodland or if we're just going 50 feet past the town garage. But anyways, yeah, so that's what we're doing there. So <clears throat> because we didn't have to remove the water line, that gives us his current estimate is 50,000 from the DWSRF money that we've already bonded for that will offset this cost. So. So that's where we stand right now. So the bottom line number is right. It's just yeah, that, yeah, okay. so, yeah. I should have looked at that closer. I've, so yeah, that's the remaining. So our local match is up, um, or no, it's still the same. One hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. yeah, I mean, ha had we not been able to grab a little bit of that money from the yeah the bond payment, then, from, yeah. then we were. 55, 56,000 over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right now we're at five or 6,000, but that 
under. But we also no, don't need that's that. Over. Oh, we also oh over, but we also but, don't need that twenty thousand in short term interest and. But you have contingency money that's in there yeah. too. Um, so hopefully we. Which is this line? Done. The second line is the yeah. contingency yeah. money. Yeah. So it'll be change orders or yeah. price yeah. increases no, or whatever. Yeah. So it'll be done and paved by the end of October. So it'll be paved Maybe. to the town. It'll huh? be paved to the town garage. Yeah, at least. What we're saying. If not okay. 50 feet baths, or if not to Woodland, okay. I, I can't remember my note now. Okay. Uh, we went back and forth, or I went back and forth with AJ. But the, what the road crew is going to do is is ditch and remove yeah. the berm yeah. just to keep the water off the road. So we won't get the full rebuild to the top, but it's better than what it was. Then the, I apologize, I did, apparently I didn't give you the July financials. I asked Denise, I'm like, did I put those in a packet? She's like, I don't think so. And I don't generally give you the June ones anyways because the end of the year ones are tough because the audit, the audit ends up anyways. making changes and so. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so this is for. Well, not really much to say that, so. No, because it's just July, yeah. yeah. And then uh, Dietrich just printed water sewer bills today Do you with know, the increased sewer. This was yeah. just just my thinking on it. What, but we still have some materials left over from last winter that we won't have to buy in this, correct? Yeah. Like we still have a bunch of sand that we didn't use last right. year. Yeah, so we'll do buy less, yeah, this year, I think. Can we spend some of that money on gravel? We spent at the oh at the end of the year yeah never mind we what we no, have for sand but is we sand. bought sand, sand that we haven't yeah. used right so that's still so stopped. we have a pile of sand up there we haven't used yet we have a budget right yeah for sand that we're sand that we're not going to use but we put some of that we before might. the end of the year we bought that in gravel yeah we last that in gravel. year yeah. but I'm just saying in this next this budget month. here we already have sand almost half our sand bought yeah sitting up in the pile so should help us hopefully yeah. Rain and ice all year long. That's what it was last year. Frequent oh, storms, not, it not said. Not like what I'm just proposed. So. Don't be talking like that. Don't be don't negative. Have, I don't have to go to work anymore. I yeah, just, listen some to you. people do. Yeah, I was, was going <laughs> to say, the rest of us got to come. This is snow. We can push snow. We can deal with snow. Snow, snow, snow is fine. Yes, but the rain and ice is just a bear. Because. And the power's at. Yeah, and then, yeah. It's just. You don't plus have two a generator it's anymore. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> the only difference now is that I have to start it. It doesn't start automatically. I have to go turn the key. Oh, is that it? That's it. Nice. Yeah, mine's push button too. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else from the board? Hey, I mean, what? What the hell? <laughs> Just to make up for that 9.35 night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let me go to the Let's have something else we got to talk about. Well. Oh, did you get the, did you order the uh, car charger? Uh-huh. Yep, I did. It's coming out of Canada. So once they get our check, they will, we should have it in like three days. So they'll have it before, um, Forward Fest. And I also sent them a couple of standard um, sign options from Econo Sign. They picked one, so Kelly was ordering that. So that is ordered on its way. The only thing I have not done is I haven't figured out this whole Graham Street thing. I got a hold of the state oh. about who owns the land, and I thought, so I would want to talk to someone at VTrans, and, and the guy's like, well, we don't own it, the tax department does. I said, well, I don't care how you got it. But if I'm talking about a road issue, wouldn't it be VTrans? Nope, you got to talk to some of the tax department. I'm like, oh, okay. So I haven't done that yet. But I'm just frustrated because the people in the tax department don't care about their access, probably. So well, it's because, I think it's because they had that little pit there at one point. So that's he, why it, the, the guy tax didn't know if it, it was um, something they somebody they had foreclosed on. Because a long time ago, you could go down in there. Right. That's what he said. That's what Mark said. But so I wondered if when the state got out of that kind of business. Yeah. Probably they just they picked a department to dump it on. It probably was the tax department. Yeah, because usually it's and they probably don't care about it all. So I've got to track somebody down and get it to DMV, you can't get through those things. Yeah, yeah I had to try to figure that yeah. out. Just go see them in person. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so. so that's, we're still trying to figure that out. So, 
Um, so yeah, so bills are out, delinquent tax bills are out. We're gonna be changing the delinquent tax policy to mirror the new state law. So we'll have to make some changes to that. We usually put that out in the next mm. round of delinquent taxes so everybody knows what the policy is, but we have to make some changes. To and then they look at you with a straight face and go, how come we don't got more people wanting to invest in, in residential living oh, in Vermont after yeah. we keep <laughs> handling them on taxes? Oh, yeah. Someone yeah. can stay there for a year, we don't care. Yeah, exactly. They don't need to pay? No, no. Or you're the landlord, oh, don't worry about that. Yeah, so yeah. we're in the process of that. And um, so I haven't done anything with Graham Street, so I gotta write that down so I can remember to find out who to talk to at the state, and then we're gonna have to, I to meet with AJ I'm and talk to I'm trying to remember who I've talked to, but I've, did, they sent, we, did, did we determine that town water goes to uh, Louis' house? No, we determined that it went to somebody, uh, Mark Elmore's, and we, Figured we won't be making a deal to attach well, anybody. Now, I think Richard told me he thinks the water goes all the way down to Louis' house. All right, let me ask. I don't, I, well, I don't have to ask. I can look into the software. Does water go to Louis? If it doesn't, it comes from the other way. I don't know, because when I was having my chat with him, that came, that came to my mind, so I asked him. He said, oh, yeah, he's got water. He's got town water. I'm kidding. All right, I'll check. I can check in the... Um, um, not that that's a big deal, but it no. might be. Might be. Hmm. Yeah, well, because I thought Mark, I, I asked, I thought Kelly and I had a conversation about this, and we figured Mark was the closest. But So we'll take a peek. Now, Richard and Bunny don't have hot water out, out, out the end of that street? Richard and Bunny live on, oh, on Rabbit Hollow? Yeah. Isn't that a same, out on that street? Up above? Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know. I don't know everybody on the system. I mean, there's 300 and some odd users. I'm trying to think, but I don't think Richard and Bunny are. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Who else lives out there? Who else lives? I mean, we, we ran water all the way, halfway to Randolph. I know. <laughs> no, it's true. I don't know if Richard and Bunny are on. I don't think so, because I only see him annually paying his taxes. Richard and Bunny Huntley. All right. So anyway, so I still got to figure out the whole Graham Street thing, and I've got to get AJ to take a peek at it, and we've got to figure out what the, what we're, what the option is for the winter. Um, so I think that's it for road stuff. All right, anything further to come before the board? All right, if nothing, I just need a motion to adjourn. So move. Second. Second.